for uh, coming. Uh, the uh, meeting, uh, the, the, this briefing that we're having uh, with you at, at this time is a follow-up to a committee meeting we just held in the Senate Economic Development Committee. And uh, it's an issue which I think is uh, extremely important on, on several fronts. First, uh, folks often talk about Vermont not being a friendly place in which to do business. And I think the Shovelin administration, as well as the General Assembly, is working to uh, not only change that perception, but to also change it in reality. And we see uh, the bill we're about to talk about as, as doing just that. A um, 100 years ago, there was one telephone company in Vermont, and that was AT&T and the so-called Baby Bells. And laws were written to essentially regulate a monopoly. There were no other telecom providers in Vermont. The world has changed. It's changed uh, since uh, the phone companies were first set up in Vermont. It's changed very frankly since the 1990s when uh, internet and satellite services were not available in this state. And as the world has turned, the law has not kept up with those changes. So at the present time, we have a number of telephone uh, and internet providers in the state that are totally unregulated by state government. And then on the other hand, we have Fairpoint Communications, uh, which is regulated as it was 30 or 40 or 50 years ago. And I believe that that uh, results in an uncompetitive uh, environment for Fairpoint. Uh, it's an uneven playing field, and I believe that the legislation that we're proposing is going to take a step in the direction of uh, leveling that playing field. Now, why is it important? You know, our congressional delegation, many legislators who sought re-election this year, uh, as well as national commentators, all express concern at the disappearing middle class. Fairpoint <coughs> employs uh, the middle class. Uh, the average uh, Fairpoint worker uh, earns a base salary of $74,000 a year, and when combined with overtime and benefits, uh, we have individuals who are earning a very good living in Vermont. And I think it's important for us to level that playing field to ensure that Fairpoint Communications will be able to continue to provide uh, that level of compensation uh, to its employees who work very hard uh, for uh, Vermonters at ensuring services are available. The other is that we really do need to uh, provide a fair regulatory environment that reflects the real world in which we're in today. We have unregulated cable providers, we have unregulated wireless providers uh, who are able to go to uh, businesses and offer a package of services uh, at a rate negotiated between the business and the provider. On the other hand, Fairpoint goes to that same business, uh, many of which are its existing customers, and the customer invariably will ask, well, can you match the rate that's offered by the cable company or the wireless provider? And Fairpoint says, maybe we'll see you in four or six weeks after we get approval from the Public Service Board. So you can understand the uh, disadvantage, the uncompetitive uh, environment in which Fairpoint is operating at the present time simply because the law has not kept up with reality. Uh, I'm pleased to say that uh, the effort which I will be uh, proposing uh, during the 2011 legislative session is one in which not only Fairpoint Communications is the support, is the support of, uh, but is also uh, supported by uh, the Communications Workers of America which is the organization that represents uh, the telephone company workers uh, inside the building, as well as the IBEW, which are the phone company workers that are out in the field uh, servicing uh, customers seven days a week, 24 hours a day. So that, in a nutshell, is, is what the bill does. It, it basically uh, allows Fairpoint to be regulated like the independent telephone companies are regulated, not as onerous, uh, but at the same time, the company would still be subject to oversight and regulation by the board, as well as subject to all consumer 
protection requirements that apply to any business uh, doing business in Vermont. So with that, I'd like to turn it over to the uh, president uh, of Fairpoint Communications in Vermont, Mike Smith, uh, for um, some of his thoughts on this legislation. 